Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to take a look at how to make a sky dome in SketchUp. So a sky dome is a function that is, if you do a lot of rendering, you may actually have a function similar to this in your renderer already. It's basically a half sphere that sits over your whole model and shows some photo or pre-rendered, uh, you know, image. So that's like the sky, maybe the sun, clouds overhead, and then trees, grass, whatever, that goes all the way around you. Um, what I want to show is not necessarily a rendering asset. It's not something you would take out to your renderer and get, you know, photo real rendering. This is more of a an asset you can create to have something, uh, you know, similar inside of SketchUp. So if you want to do screenshots or, or anything like that, you, you could export it for rendering, um, but it's an asset you can have to make those in-model, you know, creations look good. So let's, let's take a look at creating one of those right now. Okay, so I'm here in SketchUp. Something should go without being said. All right, and I'm gonna start by importing the image. The image is kind of the key to this whole thing. Everything else we do is fairly simple, um, but the image is really, if you don't have the right image, this just doesn't work. So I'm gonna say import, and I have this file that I downloaded um, that I'm just gonna bring in here. I'm gonna scale it up fairly large. This is not a super high quality image as you will see when we look at it. It's fairly low quality, um, but this is what makes it. And this is the kind of image you have to find. So what this consists of right here is a 360, you know, half sphere image. So I got the sky and then the ground ties all the way in. Um, you actually actually do this on pretty simple hardware. You can get a camera that does this. Um, for not, not that expensive, actually. I didn't take this, I downloaded this, I will fully admit. Uh, but these are uh, images that are not too difficult to create. And depending if you subscribe to an image service, something like that, you might be able to find high res versions of this that you can download and use for this purpose. All right, so I imported as an image. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it and explode it. I want this to actually be a texture so that I can apply not just an image. I am going to put it right back into a group now. So having it inside the group just means I won't accidentally collide this geometry with any other geometry. And I'm gonna take it and move it up. Why up? Because we're going to be adding this to a texture to the underside of a dome, which means I just want that to project down. Pretty, pretty simple. That's the other thing. I only double click in here, right click. I do want to make sure this texture is projected. By default, when you explode an image, it is a projected texture, but you know, just to be safe, make sure that's happening. All right, next thing I need to do is create a dome. So I'm gonna to go to my circle, and if you haven't already, you should have create or learned how to create a dome using our six second dome tutorial. There's a skill builder on that. Um, creating a circle is pretty simple. I wanna make sure that uh, I create the simple lined up with the center of this image. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click, just kind of hover right here on one edge, hover on another edge, come here till they intersect. That's my center point. I'm gonna take that circle and I'm gonna drag it out to the edge till it hits the nearest edge there. What I'm doing right now is making sure that the circle I create, I'm gonna go ahead and move it right back down vertically to the ground. This is the exact same width as the image. I might adjust it a little bit, but I'm close right now. All right, second step, draw another circle. This one's on the green axis, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Inference, get the center, pull it out to the edge. There we go. All right, now I can grab this, say, follow me with this. Oop, let's do that again. How about this? Let's say, let's, you know what, let's just, let's, let's be honest about what we're doing here. And let me draw a line across here. I don't need a full circle, so, I can start by erasing that. There we go. All right, cool. And now just get that face in there. If you guys see that, the last line I drew wasn't quite straight, so it didn't it didn't break it, but it was broken by the other circle already. All right, so now I can grab these two, say tools, follow me, click this, and I have a half dome. Um, I currently, the inside is the back face, so one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna say reverse faces. I want the painted face right here. Now, from here on, it's 
it's exactly what you might expect. So if I say, I'm gonna go to paint bucket, I'm gonna select this, I'm gonna apply it to the inside, we might be done at this point. So depending on what you need out of your image, that might be enough. Because now you can see when, when I'm inside there, I can actually see everything I need. Now the downside right now is, that's a lot of grass, right? That grass comes up to, well, here's Naraj at six foot. That grass comes up to maybe 30 feet tall. So how do I change that? The easiest way to do it is to select this group right here, scale this, I'm gonna scale about the middle, and I'm gonna just make it a little bigger. And then I'm gonna sample it, apply it again, and I'll see the grass moves down. Now there is some distortion, you're gonna see this, right around the edges, see how that gets kind of blurry and pulled down? That's because of the way it is applying that projected texture, it's wrapping it around the sphere. So that is gonna happen a little bit. I'm, it's, it's something I can't prevent that from happening. Um, that's just what's going to happen. If you had, uh, if you went through a UV map this and actually wrapped this around, you might get a slightly different, but for this quick and simple, quick and dirty sky dome, that's gonna happen. So I have one last thing I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna grab this, scale it maybe just a teeny, oh, right about the middle, teeny bit more, sample it and apply it again. Oh, I may have gone a little too far that time. All right, let's undo that. <laughs> maybe just a little, little, I, I'm getting uh, the feeling that maybe the center of this circle isn't actually in the center of this rectangle because when I apply that, it's, see how I can see here, see how it's squished down there. So again, I will say that this image is key to making this sky don't ha dome happen. Uh, I can do some, some, some changes here. Because I'm projecting, I can grab this image, I can scoot it just slightly over, and then try resampling and applying, and I can move stuff around, moved it too far. All right, let's try that again. And there we go. So I'm getting closer. Like I said, this it's pretty obvious that this uh, image is not perfect. Worth every penny I didn't pay for it. Just, uh, just borrow. All right, so there we go. So with that, we have a pretty good sky dome. This is something I'd probably want to triple click and make a group. That way, uh, you know, it's not going to collide with geometry. And what I can do is I can come in, drop my image inside of here, and then whatever direction I face, so if I go into look around and start panning around, whatever direction I face, I'm going to see uh, that sky dome. At that point, by the way, I should point this out, once I get that in there, this is when I might want to go in here and just scale this up to be enormous, because I want this, I want these faces to be out in the distance, right? I don't want them to be that close. So I may scale that up to like a hundred times uh, once I'm done, but that gets you the idea of how to do that quick and easy for visualization purposes sketch up sky dome so it is a great way to go in and just kind of get that wraparound image we did it we did like a 180 image once before in, in the and you guys really like that so i figured i'd take that a little bit further and kind of show you that i just wish i had a higher resolution picture to work with but uh you can kind of you get the idea here there's an extension or two out there that'll create these also and i think it comes loaded with images already that are much higher resolution than what i showed if you like that video go ahead and click like down below and if you haven't already please do subscribe we create several videos around here each and every week you can be notified of all of them if you subscribe most importantly please leave us a comment down below. What do you think? Have you done something like this? Was this new to you? What do you think we should cover on Skill Builder? You got some ideas? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.